Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is a fun little video that I wanted to do actually on the very thing that I'm holding in my hand, the DJI Mic 2. The whole realm of wireless audio has become way more convenient than what it once was. And the DJI Mic 2 is probably the most seamless and effortless system that I've seen developed for content creators, filmmakers, whatever you are. This video probably isn't gonna to be too in-depth, but I definitely wanna go over the main features of this and also do a little bit of a test. Really the whole video is a test because I'm using it to <laughs> record the audio of this video, uh, but I'm gonna take it outside, do a distance check and uh, see what it sounds like because we've got some pretty decent wind outside right now. So perfect day to see how well that noise cancellation works on it as well as adding the uh, little wind stop here. But for now, let's get into what comes in the package when you get this thing and let's go over the features. The DJI Mic 2 comes in a pretty simple box. Opening it up, you're gonna find everything is stored in this pretty nice little carrying case. Seems durable enough, I don't know exactly what the material is, but it is pretty high quality. Opening up and fanning it out, you'll see everything that the mics come with, including the mics themselves, the wind guards, and all the cables. I'm not gonna get into all the specs that this thing has, but I'm just gonna cover the basics here. To start off, here's the look at the wind stops that are included. Pretty basic, very fuzzy. Next, you've got a regular USB-A to Type-C for charging, and then your standard auxiliary cable to connect the receiver to your camera. The actual AirPod style case that the mics are stored in is really good quality and cold to the touch. Using that USB cable that was included, you would just plug it into this, and that's how you charge your mics. Opening the case up reveals everything that's inside, your receiver, your two transmitters, and then two adapters to use for your phone. I have to say I'm a huge fan of this AirPod style case where everything's charged all in one place, minimizing the cables you have to use, and it's extremely organized and ready to go when you are. The way the receiver is positioned inside too allows you to see the battery percentage of each piece of tech. The transmitters or mics themselves are really cool and loaded with a ton of cool features. I love the clear front panel design as well. Really cool feature about these mics is that they have noise cancellation that you can toggle on and off. To do so, you'll just click the power button once and you'll notice the color change from a dark green to a lighter green, indicating that noise cancellation is on. Another fantastic feature is the fact that there's eight gigabytes of storage built into these mics. So you can record directly onto the mic itself. To access that audio, you've got a type C port on the side of each mic. These mics allow you to mount them in a couple different ways. You've got your standard clip style where you can just clip over the collar of a shirt, or you can utilize the magnets that are included to further hide the mics deeper inside a shirt or mount them to whatever you need to. And here's a look at the mics with the wind stops fully on. Here's a look at the receiver. You've got a nice touch screen on the front, as well as a dial that helps you navigate and select your settings. These two adapters are included in the box, one lightning and one type C. To connect the receiver to your phone to be able to use it is pretty simple. You take one of your adapters, whichever it is, slide this back panel off on the back of the receiver and replace it with the adapter of your choosing. I've got an iPhone 15, so it uses the Type-C. Once you've got it on there, all you have to do is plug it into your iPhone and it's immediately going to connect and you're ready to go to use these mics. Super cool feature for on the fly interviews or for whatever you need. I believe the mics also support direct Bluetooth connection to the phone, although that's something I haven't tried yet. Another really cool feature about the receiver is that you can actually select which camera you're using for the best possible settings when recording audio. To do that, it's pretty simple to navigate. You just go over to your recommended camera settings. Pretty simple, as you can see, all you have to do is select your brand and model. It seems like they've got pretty much every single brand you'd need in here. I use a Sony, specifically the a7S III, so I'm gonna find that for my specific setup. And once you do that, it's got you covered with giving you the best possible settings for recording audio. I'm sure there's some features that I left out, but these are the main ones that I wanted to cover and the ones that I will for sure use with this thing. I can't get over how much I love this design. Coming from the Rode mics where I had to plug every single thing in to charge it, this is amazing. But now that we've got the majority of the specs and everything that's included in the box, let's head to the field test and see what these things can do. All right, so we are out here on the uh, field test portion of this video, and I specifically chose this spot because a, I've got a highway behind me, like a major highway, that's putting off a ton of noise right now. Um, you can probably hear it. And then I've actually got a, a decent amount of wind coming this way, so it's just really rough conditions overall. Uh, I probably don't have to be talking as loud as I am. We're gonna do a few tests today. So first one is just the mic by itself, no windscreen, no noise cancellation. This is just the, the pure audio that the mic picks up. Uh, we'll see how it does. It actually does a pretty good job uh, when I record like this quite a bit, and so, I don't know how it's going to handle. I haven't really done like a stress test like this, if you will. 
to see what the background noise does. But um, like I said, this is pretty rough conditions. So hopefully this sounds okay. If not, um, we'll go on to this next portion of the, the test here with the with the windscreen. All right, and here we have the same setup. No, no noise cancellation. Got the wind, got the highway in the background, but this time we've got the windscreen on this thing. And this should help kind of kill the wind noise as it should. Um, and then it also should help a little bit with the with the highway noise. Not a whole lot. The, the main thing that this should help with is the, uh, the wind noise. This is pretty much how I run it all the time. I always have the windscreen on just to add that extra layer of uh, protection from all you know sharp noises whether it's the wind or your breath so um, yeah uh, next step we'll go ahead and turn on the noise cancellation and see how it does so kind of like I covered before if you can see you just click that once a little haptic feedback light turns a lighter green and then now we've got the noise cancellation so this is where we should see some real big improvements with the noise in the background like the highway overall this should be some of the cleanest audio it's gonna be the most processed audio so sometimes I actually don't really like the sound of the noise cancellation. I actually prefer it off and just with the windscreen on, that just sounds the most natural to me. But in some cases like this, where you have like a highway in the background, it wouldn't hurt to turn it on and just probably use that extra processed audio. And now using the magnets, I clipped it onto my shirt right here, kind of putting it out of sight a little bit. I probably could have put it more inside, but this way it's completely covered by my shirt and you hopefully can't see it that easily. Um, but this is with the windscreen on inside my shirt with the noise cancellation. So this is probably like the most uh, clean audio that you can get. My voice is probably going to be even muffled more since I've got it back uh, in my shirt here. So this is kind of, if you're wanting to hide the mic, this is the audio that you'd be getting with all those other things on. I'm going to run it inside my shirt, but this time without the noise cancellation and without the windscreen. So let's see how that sounds. All right, and here we are without the windscreen, without the noise cancellation. You're probably hearing the highway again. Uh, you're probably hearing some wind, probably not all of it because the, the shirt acts as kind of its own windscreen. The last test I'm gonna run is actually gonna be kind of like a dual test. It's going to be how far I can go before it disconnects from the receiver. At the same time, I'm going to be recording on the actual mic as well to utilize that eight gigabytes of storage that it has. Eight gigabytes for audio is actually quite a bit so if you're going to be doing any sort of client shoots or videos in general, I would actually just go ahead and always record on the mic just to have that safe backup because you never know when you maybe don't fully plug in your, your uh, receiver wire or something just happens and you go back and review your video and there's no audio to it and your whole video is a bust. Uh, this way, if you hit the record and just have this thing going, you can access that file and then sync it up later and your whole entire shoot is safe. All right, hopefully you can see that. I can't really tell. I think it's in focus, but you're going to go ahead and hit the record button. You're going to get the haptic feedback and you'll see that red light indicating that you are recording and that you are ready to go. Your audio is backed up. I meant to bring a rangefinder to this so that I could identify just exactly how far I am away from the camera, but I forgot to do that. So I'm just going to try to have to <laughs> eyeball it here. Um, and see how we do. This is, I want to say, this has got to be around 20 to 25 yards, um, and we should still be connected. Got to gauge the distance. I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, so we're probably around 50 yards, something like that. I have no idea. I'm thinking in terms of what a football field looks like. So I'm probably pretty small. Um, I think I should be, I should still be connected to it. Hopefully, we're still connected. All right, I think this is around 100 yards uh maybe more like 85 90 but um we're quite a ways from away from the camera no idea if we're still connected to the receiver or not um i actually didn't look up to see what the distance on this thing was before i recorded this i recorded the intro and like all the b-roll like yesterday and i i just didn't get a chance to go out uh luckily we still had some wind today to test it out but yeah i have no idea if we're still connected all right uh and now i'm walking through the woods back here um this, there's gonna be trees in the way and all sorts of things. And this is probably like 125 yards now. Uh, I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. I'm gonna wave at it as if it can see me. It probably can't. <laughs> I'll try to circle myself. Um, no idea if I'm still connected. I honestly doubt I am at this point, uh, but I'm still recording the, uh, the backup audio. So I'll still be able to use this. And we're jogging back in frame here. No idea if it automatically reconnects or not. I guess I'll find out. Okay. No idea if it reconnected back to the receiver or if I'm still just having to use the audio that I'm recording on the actual mic itself. But that is a general idea of the range of this thing. Oh yeah, it is connected. So I actually don't know if I ever lost connection or if it stayed connected. I guess I'll see once I edit this video. But there you go guys, that is the general 
test of the DJI Mic 2 and all of its capabilities. Ending this right now, we have got the noise cancellation running with the windscreen on in a fairly rough audio setting. So you can obviously get into a much better situation than this where you have no highway in the back or wind coming across. If you're in a studio setting or a much cleaner environment, uh, these things can produce really, really good audio. And even still in this situation, as you can see, they actually do a pretty good job. Anyways, that concludes the test segment of this video. Let's get back home and wrap this thing up. So as you guys can see, this thing is capable of a lot of things. The performance that is packed into such a small little package is honestly pretty astonishing. Compared to other wireless mics that I've used in the past, like the Rode wireless mics, which were really good when they first came out, don't get me wrong, but um, after a while, especially when you were like wanting to charge them and haul them around, it just wasn't the most smooth thing in the world. And these are a lot more streamlined compared to a system like that. It's kind of the AirPod style where, you know, you can pop them in a case and they're already charging and they're ready to go. So um, that aspect of these things is a complete game changer in my opinion. That was a feature that was included in the very first version of these. This is the two and so I haven't used any of the DJI mics. This just happens to be the first one that I've used that has that capability. I definitely think if you guys are looking on the market to get yourself some new mics, uh, specifically wireless mics, definitely look at these. These are honestly probably one of my favorite pieces of tech that I've gotten in a while. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the video. I always appreciate it when you guys watch it all the way through. And hopefully if you guys were on the fence of buying these things, maybe I was able to help sway you one way or the other. Be sure and subscribe for future videos like this, as well as some other fun series that I have going on right now. Now you guys get out there and create something yourself. I'll see you all in the next video.